Safety has always been the utmost uh, priority for our industry and uh, lithium battery has been one topic that has uh, caught the attention of many of our airline members, uh, including our, our industry stakeholders as well. If lithium batteries are not handled well or if they get damaged in transit, then they pose a fire risk which can impact uh, the safety of the aircraft, the passengers and cargo. The main goal of uh, having an incident related with the lithium battery is the limited resources that we may have on board to extinguish the fire. Lithium battery, when they catch fire, they go through a, what we call it a, technically a thermal runaway. So the lithium battery will reach a uh, temperature of nearly 600 uh, centigrade uh, degrees. During this uh, period of time, it will be very difficult to stop this, uh, this uh, 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 process. That's why the best uh, measure is to prevent and then to, to, be, uh, to increase the awareness of uh, either the air cargo trans, uh, shippers and also the airline. Asia has been one of the largest uh, manufacturing hub in the world as well as a lithium manufacturer. Uh, we have about 80% of the global uh, lithium battery produced in Asia Pacific, uh, primarily in China, uh, Japan, and, and Korea. So, uh, you know, despite just talking about these three countries, we do see movement of lithium battery uh, moving around within intra Asia as well as uh, to other parts of the world. We have also seen an increase in uh, lithium battery usage in, in many commodities. Like 10 years ago, you could not imagine a bicycle using a lithium battery, but today you have batteries. Uh, being used in uh, bicycles, cars, and hoverboards, and others. So there is more lithium battery being shipped around, uh, especially with e-commerce also. We have seen uh, quite a number of sellers where they do not have the logistical knowledge uh, to ship lithium battery. And this leads to cases like uh, misdecoration or underdecoration, and that created you know, the rise of uh, lithium battery incidents. So Ayata has been on the forefront. Uh, to raise awareness among our industry stakeholders. We have been engaging international bodies as well as regulators to develop uh, guidelines uh, to handle uh, lithium battery. We are also uh, producing a number of uh, compliance tools, uh, tools like uh, Dangerous Coast Auto Check, essentially to help our stakeholders uh, be more compliant with uh, their dangerous goods decoration. Uh, we have also created a uh, certifying uh, program, uh, which we call CIV Lithium Battery Program. And this essentially helps uh, our industry stakeholders to be more competent in the way uh, they manage uh, lithium battery. We need to get a better handle of what are the risks out there, so, and how many of these incidents are happening. So we are looking at how do we improve the safety data reporting in that regard. Secondly, once we have better data, we can then do a better risk analysis, and then we are telling governments to have the right regulations in place, enforce these regulations, and maybe look at uh, penalties for non-compliance, because that would be a deterrent uh, to people who are not declaring lithium batteries properly or packing them.